Hello everyone, welcome to Facebook Live. My name is Ruth Norton. I am with Ruth's Stamping Corner and I'm so excited to to show you today's project. It is super cute. This is what we're going to make today. This adorable little um, post-it note holder. So if you open it up, there is a stack of post-it notes inside and it closes with a magnet. So this is a perfect gift for for teachers for back to school. You can see the side there. See how they, it kind of goes together. Perfect for teachers for back to school. Perfect for coworkers. Perfect for you know anybody who loves little lists and notes. That would be me. I have post its all over my my office. I use them for for nearly everything. So this is what we're gonna make today. Um, and I'm gonna show you some ways that you can customize it. But um, we're gonna get to that in just a minute. Before we do, let's go over a few things. Paper pumpkin for September is coming it's going to be halloween themed isn't that amazing uh, paper pumpkins for august has have already shipped as soon as i get mine i'll do an unboxing in my vip group but i am so excited for this is september october november so we have halloween and then two christmas kits in a row so if you have not subscribed to paper pumpkin if you love crafting for the holidays this is the time to subscribe to paper pumpkin now if you also want to maximize on some celebration items you can purchase three six or twelve months prepaid subscriptions and you can also get celebration items with your prepaid Paper Pumpkin subscription. So if you want more information on Paper Pumpkin, let me know. There's a link to subscribe in the video description. If you want September's Halloween kit, you need to subscribe by September 10th. And then again, as soon as my August kit gets here, I will do an unboxing in my VIP group, which is also linked in the video description if you want to join my VIP group. All right, celebration. You guys, we're about almost, we're over halfway done. Well, I mean, over halfway through the month, which means we only have a couple weeks left of celebration. Now, there are a couple things in here that have sold out. The the pool party soft sea foam envelopes and then those amazing tree lot dies. Those are gone, unfortunately. Um, but there's also 10 brand new items that Stampin' Up! added at the beginning of August. So if you have everything you want in here, you're still shopping for celebration, you have 10 brand new items to choose from. These are all from either the annual catalog or the mini catalog. So definitely worth looking at there's some amazing dies there's some gorgeous paper some embossing folders so definitely worth taking a look at this if you already have everything from here but don't forget celebration ends august 31st and that's coming up quick guys we're already mid-august here we're um it's coming up quick all right if you are shopping make sure to head to my online store use this host code this is my august host code all orders will receive a pdf with three exclusive projects if your order is over $50 or more, you will receive a make and take it to coordinate with those projects. And um, you're also going to get celebration products. All right, this is what we're making today. I showed this at the very beginning if you missed it. This is what we're making. It's a little post-it note holder. It is held together with a little magnet, magnetic closure that is all hidden. So the magnets are all tucked away. You'll never know there's magnets in there. And um, great gift for teachers, for coworkers, for really anybody. This would be great to even keep in your, your purse, your handbag for all those times where you just need a little note, but it's so cute. I love this little today's plan consume cookies because adulting is hard and isn't that the truth? <laughs> we had to buy a refrigerator earlier this week, so I know adulting is hard. <laughs> all right, this is the, the, the stamp set and dies I'm going to use. This has been in the catalog. Oh, I hate that glare. This has been in the catalog for a couple of years, so you can no longer get this as a bundle. So if you want this, you do have to buy the stamp set and the dies separately but it's totally worth it. There's so many, so many cute greetings. Um, I, oh, man, where is, oh, a day without chocolate is, I mean, where's, where's that? Oh, it's like, oh, it's like, I'm um, just kidding. I have no idea. I have to find all the greetings. I never know where they are, but I just love this, this um, stamp set. There's so many ways and you can customize it with coffee, cookies, cocktails, chocolate. You can customize it with whatever you want. You have the chocolates down here, the coffee, the cocktails, and the cookies. And they're all two-step stamps. I'm going to show you a easy way to get that done, especially if you're making a bunch of these. And then the dies are pretty awesome too. Let me take these out. So we have the cookie, the coffee, the chocolates, and the cocktails all down here. And then you can actually spell out those words. So this one says cocktails, chocolate, cookies, coffees, and then this one says love you more than so it's a fantastic little um, dies and stamp set. So if you don't have that one already, that's a good one to get. Um, I'm going to customize mine today with cookies. But if you were doing this maybe for like coworkers or for teachers or something, maybe coffee would be the way to go for that. I think they would really love that. All right, now I made over 20 of these. I made these for gifts. And so 
I actually got a whole bunch of post-it notes and then I actually just kind of pulled them apart in half. I kind of just eyeballed what half would be like. So this is half a stack that I have left. We're going to make a pink version today. Um, so this box size that I'm going to show you guys today will fit half of a half a stack of them and then the I'm in my blog post later there will be measurements for a full size stack so I didn't measure them and put them in my full size stack I just realized I don't have my measurements for this with me so we're gonna I'm gonna figure it out but um I may have to just kind of lay this up here and we're gonna figure this out um I had to move to the to the kitchen today my husband's on a pretty important call so I'm gonna make some notes about where we need to do our scoring so um bear with me through the first part. All the measurements are gonna be listed in the video description. Of course, I can't see those right now, but they are in the video description and then they'll also be on my blog post later. So what you wanna start with is a piece that is seven and five eighths by three and a quarter. So that's what we're gonna start with. This one is polished pink. This one is Coastal Cabana and my Simply Scored. We are going to do some scoring. So I know the first score line is at one and then we may just have to go back and forth and measure these. <laughs> But again, don't worry about all those measurements. They are all listed in the video description below. And this one is at, looks like this one is at one and a quarter. So we're going to go back in here. One and a quarter. We're going to go back in this way. And, sorry guys, I had to move out real quick and I forgot stuff. So one, two, three, four, five, four and five eighths. And then I believe it's four and seven eighths. No, this one's four and three eighths and four and five eighths. Got it. Okay, so four and three eighths and four and seven eighths. This is pretty much how I recreate stuff when I'm working at home alone in my office. <laughs> I just kind of take stuff apart and recreate it. Fortunately, there's no cutting or adhering on this one, so it's just score lines. Okay, so we have one, one and a quarter, four and three eighths, and four and five eighths. And I'm pretty sure that's correct. Those numbers sound very familiar. So don't forget to check that video description and don't forget to um, to um, check my blog post if you want to make the one with that will fit a full size stack of post-its. Again, this one is sized to only fit um, half a stack of post-its, but half a stack is still a lot of post-its, you guys. And if you're making a bunch of these gifts, then um, you know that's a good gift. So this is just going to fold up just like that. Isn't that cute? So no cutting, no gluing just folding okay perfect so i'm just gonna give those a good burnish all right let's get our post-its inside now i'm gonna take off this back piece and i'm just going to glue this directly inside so i'm just gonna put some stamp and seal plus now you are gonna lose a post-it note because of this but it'll hold them all nice and secure in there so this one this stack of pink is just gonna go in it fits right between those score lines and it's just a smidge longer on each side. So isn't that cute? Fits perfectly. All right, let's get our magnets. We're gonna do our magnets first before we do any decorating. So these magnets that I have here, these are little teeny tiny magnets. I get these from Amazon. When I do these from Amazon, I Google um, button magnets. They are so strong. I'm gonna try to hold them apart from each other. They're so strong, they're so tiny. They're about the size of a glue dot. Oh. <laughs> You got to keep them apart from each other because they want to play. Um, but you can also get these from totalelement.com too. But I, I just search button magnets on Amazon when I do mine. And um, I love them. You get a ton of them for pretty cheap. So I have a glue dot on the back of this. I'm going to close this up. And I'm just going to stick this kind of in the middle on the front there. All right. I'm going to open this up and then I'm just going to drop this on there. The right sides of the magnet are going to attract to each other. We don't have to worry about any of that. I'm going to pick up a glue dot with my take your pick tool. You can also use your scissors here. And I'm just going to stick that on the back of that magnet there. Then all you're going to do is just close it, push it down, and your magnets will be perfectly lined up. And we're going to hide all these. So don't worry about these. Now, if you are worried about the magnets, you can always use a Velcro closure or you can even just tie it with ribbon. I like the magnets just because, you know, when it's on your desk, you need to try to know you can open it real quick. You don't have to worry about untying anything. All right, let's talk about our DSP. Now, I am using two pieces from the Celebrate Everything DSP. This is the host DSP in our um, 
holiday catalog and it is some of my favorite DSP. I don't have all the patterns right here to show you guys, but it is gorgeous DSP. Now I'm going to use some strong adhesive. I'm using Stamp and Seal Plus for this. You can use Tombow or tear and tape, whatever you want, but we are putting these over magnets. So you want a pretty strong adhesive that's going to hold. Um, this piece measures um, three by two and three quarters. That one I did remember. And then this smaller piece measures three by three quarters. And so this one's going to go on the outside. It's going to cover up that outside magnet. And then this one's going to go right on the inside and it's going to cover up that magnet. And now nobody will ever know that there's magnets in there and it holds closed and it's just super cute. And this rainbow pattern, fantastic. I love that. All right, let's do some stamping. All right, so I have a circle that I have pre die cut with the um, beautiful shapes dies. These are in the annual catalog. They were in our mini catalog in the spring. I used this one. So it's kind of like a little wonky looking circle and it's got some details on there that are embossed in there. Super cute. So we're gonna use that one. And I'm gonna use my shaded spruce ink pad and we're just gonna stamp today's plan, consume. And then on the bottom we're gonna put, because adulting is hard. All right, so this one goes right at the top. All right, again, this is shaded spruce. And then we're gonna do this one down at the bottom. You wanna leave room in the middle for whatever you need to consume, whether that be cookies, chocolate, cocktails, or coffee. All right, let me move those out of the way. Now for my for my um, cookies here, now I have already pre-die cut these using those love you more than dies. So I grabbed, I grabbed my little, my cookies die here and I've already run that through. Now before I ran this through, this is Coastal Cabana, before I ran this through, I put an adhesive sheet on the back. And that's important because these little letters, they're a little bit tricky. And oops, there's the dot to my eye. Don't lose your, don't lose the dot to your eye because everybody needs their, everybody needs their I's dotted and their T's crossed. All right, so I'm just gonna peel this off. You can use your take your pick tool, however you need to do it. And of course, you guys, I made like over 20 of these and I didn't have a problem. <laughs> Camera hits and I can't peel them off. All right, now see those little, those little centers from the O's and the K's and the S's, that's all gonna just come right off. Well, except for that K because of course, because I mentioned it. So I'm just gonna stick that on there. All right, so we're just gonna line this up on here. All right, I'm gonna grab my, my little eye. Let me see, how am I gonna do this? I'm just gonna grab my take your pick tool. This is very tiny. If you'd rather just use a marker, please do that, but we are just, I'm just going to use my take your pick tool and just kind of pull away that, that backing. Okay, there we go. So pull away the backing on there. Then I'll just use my take your pick tool. I'm just using the point part, pick it up and set it down. All right. Now, when, whenever I use adhesive sheets, I like to turn everything over, just give it a good burnish with my bone folder and that makes sure everything gets nice and adhered, especially that little dot to the eye. You do not want to lose that. Okay, isn't that cute? So cute. All right, so this can go on our, our cover with some dimensionals. So I'm gonna grab a few of these. Pull these off. All right, now let's talk about our cookies. So I mentioned that I made a whole stack of these. I'm gonna move these off to the side. I mentioned I made a whole stack of them. Now, when you are making a bunch of die cuts that need to be stamped, this is how I like to do it. So I've already pre-die cut them with that little cookie die. And I just die cut them in whites. And so I had a whole stack of these, like blank cookies is what I'm gonna call them. So I'm gonna bring on my Stamparatus and we are going to stamp it with our Stamparatus. So let me pull in, let me get my stamp case to hold this. Okay, so now let me show you what I did here. So I stamped, I stamped a cookie just like this on, on one, on this side. I die cut it so that I made sure that that die was in the exact same place. And when I stamped it, I used the Stamparatus so that my stamps were in the right place. And then I die cut it. And so I have my hole over here that I've die cut. I've already done this side. So I've die cut this one. And I put a piece of 
post-it tape on the back and that's gonna help hold everything in place. So I'm gonna put my paper back in place. And this is a great tip if you are making a ton of these. Then all you're gonna do is just line up that little cookie in the little die cut there. And we are going to stamp it and I need just a piece of scratch paper. Just give me one sec. All right. So I want my, we're gonna use crumb cake to stamp the, the solid part of the cookie, but I want that to be a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna stamp it on some scratch paper first. Just like that, stamp it off. And then we're just gonna stamp it right onto our, our little cookie piece here, okay? It's a little bit light, I know that's a light, but once we get that detail piece on there, it's gonna really come to life. I'm gonna use my early espresso, let's do that, and then this one, we'll just close on this side we have our perfect little cookie all stamped isn't that cute so then you just do the same thing you see you would just keep doing this with your stamp it's just line up your little cookie die cut have your crumb cake I'm gonna do this one I'm gonna stick my scrap paper back inside Look how messy I got with that ink holy moly I'm gonna stamp that Make sure it's always lined up in the corner before you do your next stamping. Grab your early espresso. I'm getting really messy with my ink pads. Holy, holy cow. All right, and then you just peel that up. And I love that the, the post-it tape kind of holds that down. Photopolymer stamps can get pretty sticky. And if you guys stamp with the photopolymer, you kind of know what I mean, especially with the Stamparatus. It'll pull them right up. But there you go, you have two perfectly stamped cookies with the Stamparatus. And if you have a bunch of those to do, the Stamparatus will make it really fast and it's easier to cut out a bunch of just plain basic white paper cookies instead of having to line up the die every single time. So use that tip. That's a good tip. It's a good Stamparatus tip. And where did my project go? Here it is. All right. We are going to finish assembling this. So one cookie is going to go behind here. So I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive behind there. And I'm going to just stick that down and then this one's gonna get popped up so I'm gonna grab a dimensional and I'm gonna put it right onto my project here that way I know the dimensional won't hang off the edge we're just gonna stick that one down just like that isn't that cute all right one last finishing touch we're gonna tie some linen thread around the top here so just open this up slide your linen thread under and I want my bow to be on my left side here because we already have a cookie on this side so I want my bow on this side okay so just Tie your bow, just like that, and oh my goodness, humble fingers now. All right, perfect. Sweet little bow, off to the side there. Now if you wanted to, you can add some Winkostella to the word. I did that on this one, I'm not sure that the camera is going to pick it up a little bit. I added some Winkostella. Um, I'm not going to do that on this one because I didn't bring my Winkostella out, but I think that they both look fantastic. So. The Coastal Cabana version with the blue post-it notes, and then I have the polished pink one with the pink post-it notes. So whatever you prefer, you can do a whole bunch of these. This rainbow paper from the Celebrate Everything DSP has almost every color you can imagine. So whatever color post-it notes you can find, you can definitely customize this with whatever color. And don't forget to customize it with whatever little treat you want. All right, guys, that is it for me for today. If you are shopping, make sure to head to my online store. Make sure to use this host code. This is August host code. If you are watching this on Facebook, I'd love it if you shared this with your crafty friends. If you're on YouTube, please like and subscribe to my channel. That really helps me out. And I will see you guys on Sunday for sure for Celebration Sunday in my VIP group. And if my paper home can arrive before Sunday, I'll be going live there with an unboxing as well. All right, guys, have a great rest of your Wednesday, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.